Yeah, shout out Mojav, Mojave, Mojave. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm my bad, bro. I'm my bad. Shout, shout y'all out. Somebody told me to take an autism test. I'm about to find out a lot about myself in just in just 50 short questions. I don't know. They said, I think you're on the spectrum. And I was like, what the f What do you mean by that? He was like, take this test. I almost forgot about it. This is a good time to do it as the last part of the stream. You definitely don't. I don't know. He said, I think you're on the spectrum. I'm like, how? That makes no sense. This probably isn't even accurate. Clinically oriented. That's probably not true. It's probably some guy that tricked a whole bunch of people into thinking that they special. You're not. Anyway, I get obsessed with strings of numbers such as dates or... Okay, this is true, but I don't think that's indicative of anything. I'm going to put strongly agree because the way I can memorize numbers is kind of crazy. And I do start repeating it crazy. I do. I do. What is R A A D S R? Like, what is that? What do you mean? These questions are too blatant. You know, you stream. I watch your views. Good work. Appreciate that. Um, people be saying anything nowadays. What's the questionnaire for? Whether or not I have autism. That's what they're saying. How am I gaslighting? How am I gaslighting me? I'm just saying. 50 questions is insane. Get this out of my face. Look, bro, I'm not about to. I'm not about to. I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing because it's true. People have told me I can be obsessed about my interests. This. Okay, yeah, that's true. I sometimes have compulsive thoughts about being injured or having other bad things happen to me in extremely specific way. <laughs> I often bump into, no, I'm not clumsy at all. I don't trip, like, me having to, I don't trip at, at all. I'm not clumsy at all. I don't trip over nothing. If I if I were falling, I, I'd be catching myself. Like, it's, it's, very, it's really, really easy. It's really easy. Okay, so let me go with yours then. Let me go with this one. Because he has me taking a generic test. And I feel like most people could answer these wrong. Hold on. Boom. You said it's R. A. A. That looks like A's, bro. I'm not going to lie. Why do they say that? Embrace autism. 12 minute read. Wait, I don't like this. Because they, they have me taking an actual test. Oh, okay, never mind. I got it. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. I am a sympathetic person. True now and when I was young. Yeah, very sympathetic. I always felt the pain. I'm an empath. I'm an empath. I often use words and phrases from movies and television in conversations. Often... Maybe more so when I was younger than 16. I don't really do that now. Like phrases from movies and TV? Nah. I have phrases though, but I don't not not really, bro. Not really, bro. I'm often surprised when others tell me I've been rude. Never true. Sean, what is some of your Christmas slash holiday traditions? Fucking and sleeping. Um when people tell me I'm rude, I, I always expect it, depending on the conversation that we had. Sometimes I need to be rude. Uh, sometimes I don't care. Sometimes I talk too loudly or too softly, and I am not aware of it. Nah, I'm, I'm generally aware of it. I'm, 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 I'm always aware. I always know. I always know. I often don't know how to act in social situations. Never true. Well, I did twiddle my hair today, but that was because I was thrown off guard. I got thrown off guard, and I didn't expect her to say what she said to me. I don't know. That's not really. 
Nah, I can say never true. That's like a once in a every every so often occurrence. That never happens. That doesn't happen that often, bro. Stop. I can put myself in other, of course, true now and when I was young. I could picture myself right now in my bed. The future me, I'm already in me right now in my mind. It's crazy. Um, I have a hard time figuring out what phrases mean. Like, you are the apple of my eye. Never true. I only talk to people who share my special interests. Never true. I focus on details rather than the overall idea. Never true. Oh, wait, no. You should take the 16 personality quiz next. Bro, what does that even mean? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I focus on details rather than the overall idea. Why are they why are they boxing me in like this? Like I'm trying to yes and no. Depending on the situation. True now and when I was young? No, not rather than. I this just isn't a true question. This isn't a true question. I always notice how food feels in my mouth. This is more important to me than how it tastes. Never true. I'm only about the flavor. I don't care if it's hard or if it's soft. Relax. Relax. I miss my best friends or family when we're apart for a long time. Uh, true now. Yeah, sure. Sometimes I offend others by saying what I'm thinking, even if I don't. Can you explain your Twitch tags? No. Sometimes I offend others by saying what I'm thinking, even if I don't mean to. Sometimes that happens, yeah. True when I was younger and now. Sometimes that happens. I only like to think and talk about a few things that interest me. What? I'm confused. I only like to think and talk about a few things that interest me. That's not true. There's a bunch of shit that don't interest me that I talk about. I'd rather go out and eat a restaurant by myself than with someone I know. Absolutely not true. I'm not a fucking psychopath. I cannot imagine what it would be like to be someone else. Not true. What are these questions? I've never, I've been told that I'm clumsy. Absolutely not. I'm the most coordinated person in most of the people's lives that I know. Others consider me odd or different. This is gonna this is a loaded question. This is a loaded question. Different? Sure. I wouldn't say odd. I've never had the word odd used on me in my life. Different, yeah. Different, yeah. I'm still the real I'm still a real the realest nigga alive though. I'm sorry, bro. Nobody's ever called me odd though. Fuck up. I understand when friends need to be comforted. Of course. I'm always on time. I'm very sensitive to the way my clothes feel when I touch them. How they feel is more important than how they look. That's not true. But I am cognizant of that. But that's not true. I like to copy the way certain people speak and act. It helps me appear more normal. Not true. It can be very intimidating for me to talk to more than one person at the same time. Not true. Now, it depends on how y'all approach me, though. If it's three niggas, they just come out of nowhere and y'all all like attack talking me, then yeah, I'm going to feel a little small. I have to act normal to please other people and make them like me. Not true. Meeting new people is usually easy for me. Uh, True now. When I was younger, it wasn't as easy, but now it is. Uh, I get highly confused when someone interrupts me when I'm talking about something I'm very interested in. Highly confused? No, I find it rude and I'm like, bitch, stop talking while I'm talking. But outside of that, I can generally get through it. It is difficult for me to understand how others are feeling when we are talking. Not true. I like having a conversation with several people, for instance, around a dinner table at school or at work. Not true. I lit. I take things too literally. Sometimes I often miss what people are trying to say. Uh, sometimes. Why, why isn't there a sometimes button? I I can only say never true because it it rarely happens. It's going down in here. I'm with the money. It rarely happens. I'm gonna just say never true. It is very difficult for me to understand when someone is embarrassed or jealous. Not true. 
I can always tell when niggas is jealous. Niggas be jealous. Ha, niggas be jealous. Ha. Some ordinary textures that do not bother others feels very offensive when they touch my skin. True. True now and when I was young. I don't like the way certain things feel. I get extremely upset when the way I like to do things is suddenly changed. I wouldn't say extremely upset. I wouldn't say extremely upset. I get annoyed. I get annoyed, but not extremely upset is a little different. Extremely upset is a little different. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, say never true. I've never wanted or needed to have what other people call an intimate relationship. Not true. Well, yeah, not true. It is difficult for me to start and stop a conversation. I need to keep going. T- <laughs> what the fuck is this question? I need to keep going until I'm finished. That's hilarious. To start and stop? How do you know when you're done? Like, what? What do you mean by this? I never true. Like, I, I've never run into that. I speak with a normal rhythm. What what is that? What is that question? I speak with a normal rhythm. Oh, I get what they mean. Well, this is true. I don't even say, you know what's crazy, chat? I mentally did it to myself. And I figured out how to stop saying, you know, like. Like, I think I, I think that's gone from my vocabulary for the most part. Sometimes it happens. But I just take these pauses in between. And the and the word just completely is gone. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but that's for stream purposes. In my regular everyday life, if somebody interrupts me while I'm in a flow or in a r- rhythm or in a routine, I'm not about to I'm not I'm not about to like yell at them or get like overly aggressive or nothing crazy like that. Y'all just receive that energy because you dick suckers. The same sound, color, or texture can suddenly change from very sensitive to very dull. Uh I guess. Say what? I don't know. What do you mean by this? This is a weird question. The phrase, I've got you under my skin, makes me uncomfortable. Who says that? I've got you under my skin? You mean I've gotten under your skin? Nobody says this. Ah, I, I don't hear this, so I, I'm going to say never true. Wait, the phrase? They said it's a phrase. They don't say it's a song. They said it's a phrase. I've never heard that in my life. Sometimes the sound of a word or a high-pitched noise can be painful. Of course. True all the time. I'm an understanding type person. Of course. I do not connect with characters in movies and cannot feel what they feel. Never true. I cried to Demon Slayer. I cried to Demon Slayer, bro. You can't tell me shit. I cannot tell when someone is flirting with me. Never true. Well, actually true when I was younger than 16. I can see in my mind in exact details the things that I... Yes, I can do this. It's an ability. I keep lists of things that interest me, even when they have no particular, oh, no, I'm sorry, no practical use. Lists? I wouldn't say I keep a list. Yeah, no, I don't keep a list. When I feel overwhelmed by my senses, I have to isolate myself to shut them down. Uh, Yes. True now and when I was young. I like to talk things over with my friends. Where is the sometimes button? Where it? Where is it? Because I don't like talking to them niggas about everything. Every now and again, sure. Everything, no. 
Like, why are these? Why are these my only options? True. Now, I'll, I'll talk to them. Sure. I'll talk to them. Let's just say now. I cannot tell if someone is interested or bored with what I am saying. Never true. But some people fake the funk real good, especially if they if they if they're not like like notorious flirters with you. They'll listen to whatever the fuck you have to say, and you sometimes won't know. Like, yo, are you bullshitting me right now? Like, are you are you are you busting my shit right now? Like, what the fuck? It can be very hard to read someone's face, hand, and body movements when they're talking. Never true. The same thing can feel very different to me at different times, like clothes or temperatures. Not true. I feel very comfortable with dating or being in social situations with others. Uh, true. Now, when I was young, how, how did I feel about that when I was young? I don't know how I felt about that when I was young. I'm not I'm not 100 percent. I'm going to just say now then, I guess. I try to be as helpful as I can when other people tell me their personal problems. Uh, it depends on in what ways I'm, I'm required to be helpful, but sure. I've been told that I have an unusual voice. For example, flat, monotone, childish, or high-pitched. Uh, could I give some credit to this by saying when I was young? I wouldn't say my voice is unusual. I couldn't say that. But then again, it's not up to me. I mean, they say monotone, so I guess I have to say now, right? True, only now. Sometimes a thought or a subject gets stuck in my head and I have to talk about it even if no one's interested. No. I do certain things with my bare hands over and over again. Flapping, twirling sticks or strings, waving things by my... No. I've never been interested in what most people I know consider interesting. This is true. But we'll still talk about it, even if, even if I'm not interested in it. I'm considered a compassionate type of person, yes. I get along with other people by following a specific set of rules that help me look normal, no. It is very difficult for me to work and function in groups. Uh, yeah. Yeah, now and when I was young. But I only say that because, like, I feel like niggas make shit harder than it has to be when it's more than a few people. When I'm talking to someone, it's hard to change the subject. If the other person does so, I can get very upset. No. Sometimes I have to cover my ears to block out painful noises. No. I can chat and make small talk with people. Of course. Sometimes things that should feel painful are not. Except when I hurt myself. I thought that said when I kill my... Never mind. I really thought for a second. Uh, some things that should feel painful. So it depends on the thing. It depends on the thing. When talking to someone, I have a hard time telling when it's my turn to talk or to listen. Not true. Considered a loner by those who know me best. Not true. I usually speak in a normal tone. True. I like things to be exactly the same day after day, and even small changes in my routine upsets me. This isn't true at all. How to make friends and socialize is a mystery to me. Um, nah. Making friends seems like such a different thing to do now. I feel like you just talk to people. If you vibe, you vibe. I feel like you don't try. I don't know. Maybe my maybe my definition is weird. You just don't. I don't try to make friends, I guess. It calls me to spin around or to rock in a chair when I'm feeling stressed. This is true to a degree. It can calm me down. The phrase, he wears his heart on his sleeves, does not make sense to me. That's not true. It's very obvious what that phrase means. Making friends when you're grown is hard? Probably. I, I, th I think it probably is, but, like, I think it's the same way as when you're younger. When you were younger, you didn't try to make friends when you were in school. You just started talking to people randomly. 
I feel like the same thing applies. I think people just make it more complicated when they get older because they are more aware of how they come across to people. So it's like, oh, shit, I got to act like this or I got to be like this. Like, you could just do the exact same thing. If I'm in a place where I, there are small textures or noises or bright lights, I feel anxious or... Okay, that's not true. Too many smells? No, that's not, that's not true. The fact that you question a difference in our own definition versus what the test might be referencing to what do you mean i don't i don't know what you're implying with that making friends in school is a lot of effort i don't feel like that at all there were niggas in other classes in my school that i'd never even talked to that we just became friends off nothing we didn't even half the people that I know now starting off. We didn't even I don't even remember how we met. There was no conversation, no like I'm pretty sure it was just like on some. I didn't even ask these niggas names. We just what what, what happened when we just start talking? I swear to God, like niggas would just start talking to niggas like they knew them. And then, boom, it was just done. Like, hey, all right, that's that's my nigga. Like what? I don't even know, to be honest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You don't try to make friends in school. You just It just happens. But as adults, you're just put in situations where you have to interact with each other. But uh, the same thing can occur. You know what I'm saying? You're just put in a situation where it's like, okay, I need you to be on my teammate type shit. Or we got to get this job done or whatever the case is. But work and college and stuff like that i know things get more complicated and people want to be to their own space and shit like they're their own devices a bit more um but if people just became or people were just more open-minded it only take one person to do it too in my thoughts yeah in my experience it takes one person when you're grown and you're a little bit older it takes one person to take the initiative to be like i'm going to be the talkative one i'm going to be the open-minded one to get somebody else to kind of to kind of like drag them out Sean be asking for clarification just to not see what I'm saying. Because I don't get what the fuck you're saying. What did you just say? Your response to the questionnaire is all types of... Uh, wait, wait, what did you just say? All types of... Uh, this is not something non-autistic people usually do in response to this type of stuff. Because some of the questions are genuinely confusing. Like, me asking if I can add a sometimes button to some of these questions so that I can exactly answer it. I'm I'm confused on that. What do you mean? That's not getting easily fixated. This thing is trying to gaslight because he's like, oh, yeah, just blindly answer every single question, even though there's a better answer to the question that you're trying to answer. Like, what the fuck? Some of these are legitimately like who would ask this question in this way? What are you talking about? <laughs> huh? Um, But as far as a friend's things go, yeah, it just I feel like it just takes one person to make the other person comfortable. Both people can't be, like, set in their ways is what I'm trying to say, basically. Ooh, I'm trying to sleep. I can't if you keep arguing with the test. I'm not arguing with the test. We just stopped to have a conversation about friends. What are you talking about? I wasn't confused on that question. What is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about, bro. I really don't. I can tell when someone says one thing but means something else. This is always true. I like to be myself as much as I can. Sure. I keep my thoughts stacked in my memory like they're on filing cards, and I pick out the ones I need by looking through the stack and finding the... Like, bro, who would ask this? That's what I'm... Like, what? What are you talking about? He, this nigga's telling me I'm overthinking the questions and these niggas are over questioning the question. Stop talking to me because you, you you sound dumb. You, you, you're you doing the most right now. You see what's going on right now and you're trying your best to try to be like, oh, no, you just got to keep. No, stop. You're being dumb. I don't even I don't get the question at all. Oh, no, no. Like a stack. What the fuck? Who who who? who, who, does, who? You don't do a stack, bro. I'm sorry. That's not. There's, there's, there's no stack. The same sound sounds. Wait. The same sound sometimes seems very loud or very soft, even though I know it has not changed. 
depending on the distance depending on the distance sure the fuck <laughs> that's the only difference it's the only time it'll sound different it's if you closer or farther away i enjoy spending time and talking with my family and friends always i can tolerate things i just oh i can't tolerate things i don't like this is true true now and when i was young if i don't like the texture the sound the color blah 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 i don't know i don't know that's not over analytical to consider a question that you're about to answer before you answer it y'all are stupid as fuck i'm sorry you just go through your test and you're like oh button 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 that's not me my boy i don't like to be hugged or held i love being hugged oh my fucking god when i get a good hug bro i don't know gang when i go somewhere i have to follow a familiar route or i can get very confused and upset bro i'm so sorry this is the dumbest question in the world why would a nigga not be confused about being lost what the fuck Oh, yeah, you're right. I did forget that one. Not liking to. This is a dumb question. This shit literally just said, <laughs> when I go somewhere, I have to follow a route I'm familiar with or I get upset that I'm lost. You niggas don't read. Never true. I mean, always true. It's always going to be true. It is difficult to figure out what people expect out of me. I wouldn't say that. I like to have close friends. I guess who doesn't? People tell me that I give too much detail. Chat's telling me that I'm doing that right now. Even though I'm just reading out a fucking question. True only now in this very moment with chat. I am often told that I ask embarrassing questions only to the chat. I really don't in real life. I tend to point out other people's mistakes. Not really in real life. In my day to day, I let people rock. I'll be like, ha, that's my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I let him fly. I don't know what this means. I thought that said circumcised. I'm like, how do they know? What does this mean, though? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. 25 means you are not autistic. I don't Tory have a lanes being locked up. Got me thinking about when we was locked in our relationship. Now we both in our own lanes. I miss you. Heart, <laughs> he both you in our own reply. lanes. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we both in our own lanes. Some autistic traits, but not but likely not autistic. Yet some autistic people score as low as 44. Okay, boy. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, boy. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. 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 Who would score? Who would score over 100 though? Is is my is my main question. I just feel like personally, what sensory or motor skills are you getting? I mean, if this is timed, is this is this timed? What what sensory or motor skills are you getting though? From from the questions that I was that I've answered, I don't understand. I really thought this is circumcised, bro. That was about to be crazy. What is language? Why am I why am I at a one for language? Elysium keeps talking about this. He can't even type right in the chat. You scored a 128. What the fuck is strong evidence for autism? You have strong evidence? Crazy. The texture questions would be that. Look, bro, I'm not going to lie, dude. Some shit don't feel good. Some shit don't feel good, bro. It is what it is. Bro, what? I didn't know we get ads. What the fuck? What are you talking about? Look, man. I don't know what y'all cooking. Y'all seeing a lot of things, and I get it. You feel you feel away. But at the end of the day, that ain't got nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? It's got nothing to do with me, and I would just like to say, good for you, proud of you, slime. What are you talking about? Can you please link the test in chat? I need it for a homie. It's right here. Hold on. I can't I can't paste it though. 
Can I? I can't paste it. Wait. He not gonna take it. I'm not about to have you. I'm not about to have y'all diagnosing y'all homies with a with an online test about this shit. I'm not. You go to a professional. Statements per bro. I'm not reading all this. What is this? This makes no sense. Whatever. I don't. I don't care. I don't want to break it down anymore. That was 80 questions, dude. I don't know, gang. I feel like they might be off. That's just me personally. Your name is Booty Milk, and you're telling me to stop screaming, bro. Go do something with your life. 